People have used hemp for a very long time. It wasn't always used for its CBD content that we know and love today. Hemp in the U.S. dates all the way back to the first settlements in Jamestown in the year 1616. Back then, it was used to make ropes, sails, and clothing. But as time went on, hemp became wildly misunderstood. America's public enemy number one. Drugs are menacing our society. Marijuana, the burning weed with its roots in hell. So historically, often in clandestine operations, people over time selected cannabis plants that would get them intoxicated. They would save seeds from those plants. And over time, they bred those plants together to be even more intoxicating. So today, we have very high levels of THC in plants sold as recreational or medicinal marijuana across the country. On the other side, we have people who have bred hemp for many years that does not get you intoxicated at all. The earliest known fabric was woven from hemp between 8,000 and 7,000 BCE. Around 4,000 BCE, hemp was found to be used for pottery in China. Fast forward to 140 BCE, and the first paper is made from hemp. Hemp really made its mark in the US around 1631, when hemp was a legal form of currency, and it could even be used to pay taxes. This deep history of hemp growing gave the US town names such as Hempstead, Hemp Hill, and Hempfield. In 1776, the US Declaration of Independence was even drafted on hemp paper. Hemp is as American as, well, hemp. That is, of course, until... This act placed a tax on all cannabis sales, including hemp, and heavily discouraged its production thereafter. Of course, that's not where the story ends. Historically and traditionally, hemp was bred for things like seed content, uh, for seed oils or for hemp powder. You maybe have heard of hemp protein. That also comes from the seeds of the plant or from the fiber of the plant, which is the bast fibers of stalks in hemp that traditionally were used for ropes for the Navy and the good old hemp for victory days. Hemp for mooring ships, hemp for tow lines, hemp for countless naval uses, both on ship and shore. In 1942, the production of hemp was back in full swing. The USDA starts the Hemp for Victory program to produce hemp ropes and textiles in order to support World War II efforts. But then in 1970, the hemp industry was challenged again. The Controlled Substances Act moved to classify hemp as a Schedule I substance, along with heroin, methamphetamines, and marijuana. It wasn't until President Obama's farm bill in 2014 that pilot programs for hemp farming were allowed. This bill let farmers grow hemp under USDA and state supervision. And four years later, President Trump's 2018 farm bill removed hemp as a Schedule I substance. Today, especially here at Charlotte's Web, we breed hemp for high cannabinoid levels, specifically CBD. CBD is a common molecule in hemp that will not get you intoxicated at all. Humans have relied on this versatile crop for centuries in the U.S. and across the globe. And today, hemp has not only regained its status as a wonder crop, it's charting a new exciting chapter in the history of hemp. Stay tuned for more upcoming episodes, and until then, keep searching for answers. <laughs>